Hey, what's up? This is Flex Alexander. I'm Shanice. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Madame Noir. Noir. You have to make it fun. You have to keep it spicy and mm -hmm. sexy. You know, you got to flirt and have date night. Uh, and you have to, when you do have disagreements, you can't just get up and say, okay, it's over. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to both be willing to, you know, uh, work it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I lo a lot of people, when they're going through hard times, they're just like, I'm, I give up, you know, and you have to just, you know, got to fight through fight it. Fight through it. Things are definitely better, better than it was, yeah. you know. Yeah, but now we can just be like, hey, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all good now. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? But just thankful to be able to keep pay the, the bills, over keep the roof over it, <laughs> pay the bills online, and be like, click, oh, all right, going through. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Like if someone recognizes them, they're like, oh my God. Yeah. They love taking pictures. They, they love taking pictures. They love signing they autographs. Love Instagram. They're, yeah, they're on Instagram. I mean, we monitor it, but yeah. they just, they love it. They love it. When the cameras leave, they're like, when are they coming back? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to see it on the show, and I'm going to re release some new music um, next month. And I'm working on, uh, I worked with T-Pain and Neo and the Justice League and Molly Hunter is my uh, co-EP. So I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Got some great I got stuff. some great music, and um, you'll see all all of that unfold this season on the show. Mm -hmm. I'm back on stage and stand up, um, jumping on a few little tours, and uh, writing, and and out pitching new uh, series ideas for scripted. Um, so yeah, just staying busy that way. I actually saw Kyla last week at the gym, yes. and I hadn't seen her in so long. Her um, uh, boyfriend or kid's dad uh, works out there. You think she has kids? She was a kid. I can't when she believe did the show. I'm sitting there like I'm like you got kids. So wait a minute, he took a picture with her, and I saw the picture from a distance, and I looked at it. I thought it was a throwback photo. I'm like, wait a minute, you guys look exactly the, the same. same. Like they could bring yeah. that show back. We literally look like we could with shoot the show. With the same cast, and you would never know. Yeah, <laughs> no, we could shoot the show just like that. It was, no, it yeah. was crazy. They but both it was, look exactly. It was the same. so good seeing her. Um, I talked to Kelly Perrine, who played Dwayne on the show. I talked to him uh, quite often, uh, and Kyla, that was the first Sicily. time. Sicily. Touch with Sicily. And that was the first time I had seen Kyla in a while. And it was just like, it just, it was so cool, you know? I will remember this forever. These kids now think like I just did that movie. That's what I think, because they have no idea it was 2006 or 2007. I laugh with it, you know. At first, I used to get mad, but I, sometimes I'll jump in and be like, what were you doing? And I'd be like, hey, man, it was a great check. And they go, hey, man, you keeping it real low, son. <laughs> you know, so I don't I get, personally think he, he did a great yeah, job. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the production I value, I mean, we're going to be honest. I mean, the gonna makeup, be, could, be the honest. makeup could have been better. Yeah, we're going to be honest. The production value was not what it should have been. But, but at the time, thing. at the time, I guess they thought it was good, but you know, I don't regret doing it. We were just talking it's about scary. it the other day. I said, I posted something and I was just like, I have children. I said, and I have a black son. What do I tell him? You know, they're there to protect you. All I can do is teach him to say, you know, be, you know, still, you know, talk respectfully and so forth and so forth. But it's like even that. Yeah, you see these videos where know, they're, they're cooperating. And cooperating, they're guys reaching and telling the officer, look, I'm going to get my ID. And, and get shot and dies later. Our kids are on Instagram, so yeah. when stuff like that happens, they see it online. Yeah. And, and so they get affected. They're they're they talk to us. They're affected. We can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just like my well, dog was afraid to go to the mall. Yeah. I said, "Come on, let's go to the mall." She's like, oh, "I don't want to go." You know, because of She's, mass shootings. Yeah. You know? Because of the shootings. Our son is just like, you know, "Do we have to get in the car?" You know, and they shouldn't have to feel like this. The kids, they should, you know, be like us. We, we were young, we were able to play, and, and you know, it was a time where your neighbor could spank your butt and then go tell your mother, I, I spanked <laughs> his butt because he was acting up. We can't do that. They call the cops on their parents now. You know, there's no order. You know, it's all out of whack. It's no order, and now the kids have become the parents. You know, well, not in our house, though. <laughs> no, not in our house. Hey guys, thank you so much for supporting Madame Noir's YouTube channel. For more Did Y'all See, click here. For celebrity interviews, click here. And for our new series, Ask a Black Man in Los Angeles, click here. And as always, subscribe.